Hi, how are you everyone? Today's workout is Pilates Reformer Advanced Workout. Um, so we are focusing on more spinal flexibility, mobility and strengthening and a um, little bit on, on the shoulder strength. So uh, listen to your body, uh, watch out if you have a you know, the is some issues on your body. And uh, yeah, let's get started. We have one red spring on the reformer. Ha uh, <coughs> if you don't have a balanced body machine, it's gonna be like heavy spring on. Get into the well, one step away from the uh, carriage. Your legs are aligned nicely, second and third toe, middle of your ankle, kneecap, and hip bone in line. We're gonna do roll down first. So inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, keep your shoulders down, okay? Then tuck your chin and slowly roll down, keep your knees soft. Imagine you have a wall behind you, then peeling off the spine one by one, then put some hand on the shoulder rest, okay? Then as you exhale, pull your navel up towards the ceiling and using this core activation, pull the carriage gently towards your knees. Then inhale, relax. Exhale, shh, pull, pull, pull. Then inhale, relax. Let's do three more. Pull your navel up. Keep your shoulders relaxed. You're gently uh, pulling this carriage. And two more, Shh. inhale, relax, and exhale, throughout your mouth, Shh. then inhale, release. Then now, keep uh, flatten your back, have a nice flat back position, so keep your knees soft. Then now, as you inhale, lift your chest up, so squeeze your shoulder blades back into the middle, then exhale, relax. Slightly round your back if you need. Inhale, squeeze the armpit and squeeze the bottom of your shoulder blades into the spine. Then relax. Let's do three more. Lift your chest up, but without making too much wrinkles back over your neck. Then exhale, relax. Inhale, flat and extending. Exhale, relax. Last one. Squeeze your shoulder blades back. And exhale, relax. Then slowly release your hand from the shoulder rest and slowly, slowly roll up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down. Okay, now bring your both legs together. Okay. We're gonna do roll down, but a little bit twisting way. So inhale, reach your arms up, shoulders down. Then now twist your uh, ribs one side. So I'm gonna facing a little bit to my left, but try to keep your hip bones facing forward towards the foot bar. Then exhale, roll down diagonally. Then my left hand going back, right hand holding this shoulder, left shoulder rest. Okay, then as you exhale, pull your navel up, then pull the carriage. Inhale, relax. Exhale, pull. Still try to keep your hips forward. Let's do two more. Pull, pull, pull. Inhale, relax. Last one, pull. Keep your hips square and relax. Then from diagonal way, lower your left hand and slowly, slowly roll up. Still keep your hips square as possible. Then at the top, coming back to the center, reset. Then go to the other side, okay? Soft on your knees. Tuck your chin and roll down. Now, right hand going back and left hand find the shoulder rest, okay? So only your ribs are twisting nicely, then pull your navel up. And inhale, relax. Three more. Shh. Inhale, relax. Two. 
Nicely reaching the back hand up and pull, pull, pull. And inhale, relax. Lower your back hand down. Then diagonally roll up, roll up, roll up. Then find your center and lower your hands down. Okay, so now get off the well. Then we're gonna sitting down. Facing the facing away from the foot bar, then find the straps. We're gonna do roll down here, okay? So first, elbows are wide, very slightly bending, and both hands are together in front of your chest. So find your sits on equal way, okay? Your legs are straight, but if you need, you can slightly bend your knees too, okay? So you're not pulling with your, from your arms, so just holding these straps, then we're gonna do roll down halfway. So as you exhale, pull your navel and tuck your tail under and roll down. Try to find your pelvis, back of your pelvis on the carriage. Then stay, inhale. Then exhale slowly, just reversing the motion. You're coming back and feel tall, find both sides of your sit bone nicely. Again, gently engage your inner thighs and pull your navel up. Then your energy is coming, going to the bottom of your ribs. Keep your shoulders down, inhale. Then exhale slowly, pull your navel up towards the ceiling, but your shoulders are Relaxed. Okay, then coming up. Let's do three more. Pull your navel and tuck your tail under and sliding your tailbone forward. Your navel is really going into towards the spine. Inhale and exhale slowly. Roll up, reach your back of your head nicely up, up, up towards the ceiling. Again, pull your navel in and tuck and sliding your tailbone nicely. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And exhale slowly, lifting up your body nicely, smooth. You still feel nice articulation of your spine. Last one. Inhale and exhale, roll down nicely. Make a nice gentle curve with your back, then stay here. We're gonna just open your arms to the side, then bring back in. Open your arms to the side and come back in. Three more open and close, pushing your navel back into the spine. Two, shoulders are away from your ears. And the last one, open long arms, then bring back to the center, inhale, then exhale slowly, controlling, and come up, come up, come up. Good, and fold forward gently, relax your back. Good, then we're gonna do rowing series. So, coming back to the same position, okay? Find your sit bone, keep your hips square. Pull your navel and tuck your tail under, roll down, same way. Then now, from here, make sure your shoulders are really down. Then open your arms to the side, your hands are facing back. Then pushing your navel back to fold forward. Then same time, bring your hands back. So really reaching your fingertips back, back, back. Then circular motion. And Reach your arms forward, over. Still keep your navel back into your spine. Then when your hands coming back, for, coming forward, you're just nicely stuck back up. Okay, again, roll down, open, hand back, pushing your navel to go, reach your head forward, and at the same time reach your hands back. Really kind of like butterfly with your arms, arms forward, then nicely stuck back up. Let's do two more. Pull your navel in. Roll down halfway. 
Open your arms to the side. Pushing your navel at the same time, reach your arms back. And inhale, arms forward. Then exhale, come back up. Last one. Pull your navel in and tuck. Open. Pushing your navel back. You're not collapsing. Reach your arms forward. Nice. Three. Then come back up. Now, flat back, flat back version. So making your um, elbows 90 degree away in front of your chest. Your fingertips are nice up towards the ceiling, okay? So first we're gonna do just lean back to warm up. We did this roll down, but just hinge back from this time. Just a gentle way. So look at your nose, maybe. And two. Good. And last one. Okay. So now, hinge back. Pull your navel up so you're not running. Okay. Then now, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Okay. Then now, round your back this time and fold forward. Okay, then your hands are coming to the side, then lower down and pulling back, back, back. Still keep rounding your back, but engaging your core muscle. Then you can bend your elbows wide and fingertips kissing together on your back. Then reach your arms straight again, then butterfly your arms forward and coming back up. Okay, then come back up, flat back position. Okay, knee, arms straight. Look at your nose. Then now up and over, rounding. Then pull the hands back and bend your elbows wide and reach your arms up. Then circular motion, bring your hands forward and come back up. Let's do two more. So hinge up. So feel the tall come up, then fold forward and push, pull your hands back and bend your elbows slightly wide and pushing out again to have a nice Shoulder mobility and arms forward, then come back up. Last one, hinge and reach. Nice, you're going forward, forward. Yeah, um, back is nice. Rounding and pulling back. Okay, then bend your elbows, straighten your arms again to come forward. And coming back up. Great. Okay, it's enough for rowing. Okay, then we're gonna do a, we're gonna switch the straps, not straps, springs. Put the two red springs on, two heavy springs on. Let's do feet in straps. We need some rest on the back, so, okay, so put the, Strap in both feet in each one, okay? So first, we're gonna do uh, reaching your both legs together, straight up. Okay, make sure your hips are square and you have a like, new, nice neutral lower back position or slightly rounding. It's really up to you. Then from your hips, inhale, lower your feet down. Then exhale, lifting up. I wanna do this time the ankle movement. So point your toes, reaching and lower down. Then flex and lifting up your heels. Point your toes and lower down, inhale. Exhale, flex and reach your heels up, up, up. Point your toes down, flex and up. Let's do two more. Inhale, flex and exhale. 
last one, lower, long leg, but without changing your lower back position, then flex and coming back up. Okay, so now open your legs slightly wide, kind of like hip breeze. Okay, then this time flexing here, then lower your heels down. Okay, then point your toes, then legs together, then lifting up nicely. Open and flex. So you're kind of making rectangles. Okay, then lower down, keeping the same width, then point your toes, then close together, find your midline, then coming back up. Let's do two more. Flex. And heels down without changing the distance and point your toes and together and lifting up. Open and flex, equal way. And lower your heels down, point your toes and come up. Now we're gonna reverse the motion. Point your toes and lower down. Open and flex your heels, then lifting up and point and down. Flex and open and heels up. Point and down, open and flex and lifting up and together and down. This is the last one. Control nicely and lifting up and both legs together. Okay, then now have a Pilates V. Heels together, toes up or lower, down your heels halfway, okay? Still keep this, your lower back, maintain the uh, same position, then bend your knees wide and kick out. Bend your knees wide and kick out. Breathe. Just nicely without tucking your pelvis, so your pelvis is flat for now, okay? Then kick out. And then open your legs equal way, then squeeze your inner side together and bend your knees and kick out. Open, heels together, find your midline and bend your knees. Let's do two more. Open, close, bend your knees, kick out. Last one, open, squeeze. Bend your knees. Okay, so now we're gonna do short spine stretch, okay? So put your hands down next to your hips, then kick out. So you keep this Pilates V. So when you're reaching up your legs, same time you engage your core muscle, lifting up gently your sit bone, up, feeling of your spine from the mat. Okay, then close your carriage completely. Then bend your knees wide towards the shoulder rest. Then you are rolling down gently, smoothly, articulating your spine. Roll down, roll down, roll down. Once your sacrum touching, okay, then kicking out. And we're gonna take, repeat this movement again. Lift your hips up, reaching your sit bone up. Okay, then close the carriage. Then while bending your knees wide, but still keep your sit bone up towards the ceiling, okay? So you're controlling this movement by yourself. And when you're ready, you're rolling down, down, down nicely. Then find your sacrum, then reaching out. Again, lift your legs up. Then using abdominal, okay, controlling and lift your legs up and hips up. C close the carriage. Bend your knees wide while keeping your sit bone reaching up towards the sea. And slowly, slowly roll down. Good. Find your sacrum, then kicking out. Now we're gonna reverse the motion. So bend your knees wide first, okay, then lift your hips up, okay, so stay using the same core muscles, okay, then close your carriage, reach your legs up, okay, then it's like more like long spine stretch, then rolling down, 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 then same time your legs are reaching slightly over down, 
okay? So if it's too hard to do this, we're gonna do it the other way. So bend your knees wide, then lift your hips up, okay? Then straighten your legs, okay? So keep your legs straight, then slowly roll down your legs, your spine. Then once you can, you're ready to pulling your legs out, you can just go down. So it's really up to you which one is good for you. Okay, just try it and see it. Okay, so lifting up. I'm gonna do two more. It's, so this is the first version. So at the same time, reaching your legs and you are rolling down, same time. It's a little bit taxing for your spine. Okay, then you can just reach. Okay, then this one, it's more you're controlling, lifting up, then spine first. Then when you're ready, you can reach your legs out. Okay. So now we're gonna do just make circles because it's enough for the spine for now. Okay, just stretch out your legs, circling and just do two more. Breathe. Still keep your tailbone down. Okay, then reverse. Breathe. Around five or six times to each side. Okay, then I'm gonna do two more. Good. And last one. Great. Then now you can bend your knees, take your straps out one by one, then find the Foot bar with your each leg. Each foot, okay. Then we're gonna do hip lift. Okay, put your hands next to your hips. So just a little bit see me down so you're not touching this shoulder rest too much, okay? Turn out wide, heels or arches on the foot bar. Okay. Then as you so exhale, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your inner, squeeze your sits bone together, lift your hips up nicely. Then as you exhale, you roll, roll down. So you're nicely articulating your spine and roll down, roll down, roll down. So it's gonna be really good after this short spine and long spine stretch, okay? So first, just lifting up, open your hips, Okay, front hips. And exhale, roll down, roll down. Roll down, find your vertebrae, one by one on the mat. Let's do two more. Okay, so keep your back flat and smudge up. Okay, nothing that you're not extending either, okay? Then slowly, Lower down your spine from the top through the bottom, Ex elongating your spine nicely, gently. One more. Squeeze your glutes and lift. And inhale and exhale slowly, gently. Lower down your spine one by one. Okay, so let's do semicircles, okay? From here, you're gonna shimmy, so put your hands on the shoulder rest. Shimmy down, okay, so then your arms are straight. Maybe you can press the carriage out a little bit, okay? Then lift your hips up from here, okay? So you're holding the shoulder rest, but not, you're not using too much your upper shoulders, okay? Just your, it's, this is just only support. Then press the carriage out, so everything is straight. Then your lower hinge from your hips, lower down your hips towards the uh, well, okay? Then bend your knees and slowly articulating your spine, this time to lift your hips up, okay? Press out, hinge at your hips and lower down your butt and slowly control, then close, and lifting up. Let's do two more. Hips down, and slowly coming up. So it's a, with your uh, 
keeps and the spine in motion, your carriage is moving. Okay, then nicely coming up. We're gonna reverse the movement. So first your hips down. Okay, then press the carriage out. So at the, when you're out, lift your hips up, then close your carriage in. Okay, then lower, articulating your spine, lower down your hips, then press the carriage out, lift your hips up, close, control, then your spine is lower down and your hips are down to so press out and smudge up your butt. And bend your knees wide and coming back. Let's do one more. Lower down and press your hip. Carriage out, not with your shoulders, okay? Then lift your hips up and close your carriage in. Maybe I'm gonna do one more. Lower down gently. Straighten your legs. Then lift your hips up and close your carriage in, in, in. Good, then you can shimmy up, up. Then have a rest. Bring your knees into your chest. You can just rock side to side. Good. Okay, then now we're gonna do jackknife. Okay, so first you can bench your, you can straighten your legs or you can bend your knees. Okay, then we're gonna so find the straps with your hand, okay? So then have a slight tension. Okay, then lower down your hand, same time, reach your legs up and lift your hips up and lower your, so reach your sits bone up, okay? Then lower your toes down into the well, then lifting up your hips and the legs up towards the ceiling, we are coming slightly. Nicely reaching up, then you can slowly, slowly, without moving your carriage, lower down, lower down your spine, without moving your legs. Then once you find the tailbone, you can reach your legs out and arms up. Okay? So, again. So lower your hands down, then same time reach your legs up and pull you using your core, lift your hips up too, then lower your feet down into the well, then reach your legs up, keep your legs up and roll down your spine. Control, control, control. Good, if it's too much, you can bend your elbows Okay, then you can do pressing down and you can bend your knees, then you can go in there. Okay, then you can just roll down. Okay, that's the modification. Okay, otherwise, arms um, straight, like a straight, then lower down your hands, then pull your navel in and lift your hips up and lower your toes down and lift your legs up and slowly, slowly, control, control, and coming down, and you can put your feet down, put the straps back into the bag, again, bring your knees into your chest, rock side to side, and make a circle with your knees, and reverse the circles, breathe, good. Then you can just roll on your side and get up. I'm gonna switch the springs again and get back the one red, one red spring on, one heavy spring on. Let's do plank position, long stretch. Both each hands on the foot bar first, then put the one foot on against the shoulder rest and the other. Foot is coming, okay? So we're gonna just do first, have a nice plank position. Your sh shoulders over your elbows, over your elbows, over your wrist. 
Okay, then you're gonna just from your shoulders, you're reaching about, but without sagging or without lifting your hips, okay? Everything is straight, tighten your core. Then reach your crown of the head, forward, forward, forward. Okay, again, inhale back, tighten your core. You're not sagging anything. And reach, reach, reach up, okay? We're gonna add extension. Yeah, going back, okay, then when you reach forward, when you are coming to your wrist navel, you're just extending your upper back, but still keep your navel up towards the spine, only your upper back extending. So you bring your shoulder blades back into your spine. And coming back to the neutral, coming back to the plank, then going back 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 then reach forward 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 then extending without sagging your abdominal okay then coming back one more time press out and coming back to the plank then squeeze your shoulder breath back into your spine in the middle then coming back in so if you want more challenge, you can go in on the top of your shoulder rest and going out, then coming back, forward, forward, then extending your spine. Okay, have a proud chest for your caravan wide. Good, then coming back in. Okay, so this is a more challenging position. Okay, then we're gonna do up stretch, so press out, okay, then hinge out to your hips, pull your navel up, and try to close your carriage, then you can get in back to the plank position. Press out, hinge, okay, so you're piking up, then try to keep your carriage as steady as possible, close to the bumper, then coming to the plank position out and the hips up using your core muscle good then keep your carriage steady to get back into the plank position okay so now we're going to reverse piking up and press out okay then you can coming back forward then stop the carriage and Piking up and press out and going forward, forward, forward. Then do one more. Pike up, keep your carriage steady. Then press out and going forward, forward, forward. Okay, so we're gonna add the uh, upper back extension with this movement. So first to press out, then piking up. Bring the carriage as steady as possible plank, then extension, okay? So then coming back to the neutral, press out, pike, keep your carriage steady, plank position, and extension, pull your caravan wide, 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 but without sagging your navel, and plank. One more, out, pike, carriage steady, plank, extending and coming back to the plank position. We're gonna reverse. So from here, piking up first, press out, bring your shoulders forward, okay, then extending. Keep your carriage steady and the pike up, press out, coming back and extension and Coming back to the plank and the pike. Last one out. Try to close. Then extending your spine. Then coming back to the plank position. Then put your knee down. You can have child's pose here. If you like, stretch out. Breathe. Then you can turn around. You can 
we're gonna do kneeling position and pulling these straps. Okay, if you want challenge, you can really going back. But if you um, have, uh, if you want be more safe position, you can coming close to the shoulder rest. I'm going to back. Then if you're going back, you have a, you can have Pilates be a knees wide position, or you can have a straight. Straight one is a little bit more harder for me, but experiment by yourself. Okay, so you can have short one or long one or choke up. It's really up to you. I'm gonna have a short one first. I'm gonna do first like neck stretch. So tighten your glutes. Tighten your core, your navel up towards the ceiling. Back of your head, nice reaching up. Your hands are facing back. Okay, then you can just pull, pull, pull towards the hips. Then control and release. Inhale, pull. So make it slower, but smaller movement. Good, inhale, pull, exhale, release. Then now inhale, pull, your hands are heavy down. Then as you inhale, reach, uh, turn your head to the right, keep your shoulders down. Exhale, center. Inhale, left. Exhale, center. And inhale, then exhale, release. Again, pull, 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 inhale, then exhale, stay. Inhale, turn your head to the left. Exhale, center. And right, exhale, center. Inhale, stay, exhale, relax. One more each side. Tighten your glutes, pull your navel up. Stay, inhale, right, exhale, center. Inhale, left, exhale, center. Release, release, release. Last one, pull, pull, pull. Keep your hands down heavy, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, left, exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center, and release. Whew, that's already hard, okay? So now we're gonna do uh, crossing the straps, okay? Then you're gonna just pull wide, okay? So bend your, so keep your spine straight, bend your elbows wide, and release. Tighten your glute, put your, uh, Bring your elbows wide to the side without hiking your shoulders up. Pull, pull, pull nicely, okay? And let's do three more, okay? So try not to do flexing your hips. And look straight forward, maybe it's gonna help you because it helps me. And the last one, pull, and slowly control and come back. Now your right strap over your left strap because we're gonna twist you uh, to the right side. So left arm lifting up and the right hand coming next to your right hip, then you're twisting, look at your right shoulder, okay? So lifting up and twist. And exhale, coming back in, okay? Again, pull, 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 and twist only from your ribs. Keep your hips square and control and come back in. Two more, twist and coming back. And last one, twist, try to stay here. Keep your hips forward, tighten your glutes. Look over your right shoulder, good. Then slowly coming back to the center. Switch the strap, left strap over your right strap. Okay, switch hand. Then reach your right arm up and the left hand down and look at your left, over your left shoulder. And slowly control and come back in. Keep your hip bone reaching forward, tighten your girth, pull your navel up and twist your ribs and coming back to the center. Let's do two more. Open your arms wide and twist and come back to the center. Last one. Bring your right knee towards your left and slowly coming back to the center and uncross your straps. Just catch your breath. Okay, 
So now we're going to do a little bit of extension because it's, this workout is mostly about the spine. So keep your shoulders down so you are having so you need, uh, okay, and cross the strap, okay. So then you are just pulling back as we did at the beginning of the, this exercise. Then same time, you are just pushing your navel back. So your lower back is stay, just only your upper back using, then extending, open your heart wide, squeeze down your shoulder breath. Then inhale and exhale, come up. Okay, so don't let the head down, back. So you just look, slightly look up, squeeze your back, but still keeping your navel up and slightly back. And coming back. Two more, pull, 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 your hands stay, then open your heart, slightly look up, squeeze your shoulder breath back. And coming back. Last one, pull, 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 hands down and squeeze your back, back, back. Good, then slowly control and coming back. You're yeah, coming down and put the straps back into the peg. And you can just rolling your shoulder, circling back. Okay, then we're gonna do tendon stretch from here. So your hands on the foot bar. Okay, you can hold from the back or front side. It's really up to you. I like to switch the hand position. I'm gonna start from the back first. Okay, then put your balls of the feet on the, at the edge of the carriage. You can have Pilates V or feet together or feet Hip width, it's really up to you, okay? Then you are kind of like sit bone attached here. So we're gonna do first, just using your core muscle and lift your hips up, okay? So your legs are now all the time straight, okay? Then it, so it's a tendon stretch, so you're kind of like flexing your uh, ankles, okay, all the time, so then Tighten your core muscles, then lift your hips up and bring the carriage towards you, okay? Then control and going back, okay? Then you can just hinge and come up. And you can going back, okay? So it's, once you find the momentum a little bit, it's gonna be easy. But it's not about momentum, it's your control, of course. Okay, then now you're going here. Okay, then you know, he bends your elbows and lifting up and coming up, up, up. Okay, press out. Bend your elbows and coming up and come up. So we're gonna add arm work too, but we said, Hiking your shoulders, it's more triceps. Okay, good. And now, coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the hand. If you like, you can switch the hand, okay? And coming up, okay? Then out, bend your elbows, lifting, and come up. Let's do two more. Good. And come up. Out, bend your elbows and coming up and coming back up. Okay, so now we're gonna do kind of like star or a little bit of mermaid, but let's do modified version because we did a lot of tough stuff. So you're gonna be sitting on your one hip, so I'm sitting on my right hip down and the left knee and left foot is lifting up over your, over my right leg, okay? So still keep this one red spring, okay? Then we're gonna just press out, then stretch out first. Okay, then inhale and exhale, come up. Let's do counter stretch, okay? 
Then now I'm gonna press out, and at the same time we are coming up. So lift your from your core muscle, you are just coming up, okay? And using this core muscle, you are coming down. So it's less about the arm or shoulder, and it's more using your abdominal, you're coming up, okay? So then my left knee is not touching, okay? Good. So then now, come up and slightly move the carriage out, I'm the straight, okay? Then now, using this side of your core muscle, bring the carriage towards the foot, scoop the side, and kind of, Okay, but still keep your hips, keep your hips as square as possible. Good. So because I'm short, that's why my knee is not touching the shoulder rest a bit, but if you have a long leg, you can, of course you can touch the shoulder rest. Good. So using this side of your yeah, arm. Uh, Abdominal, you can lift this ribs and coming up. Let's do two more. Good. And last one. Good. Then you can just using this abdominal, sit down, gently coming down. Then you can put your hand on the shoulder, rest then, counter stretch, breathe, and coming back. Okay. One more thing here. Lifting up using this abdomen, okay? Then other arm, left arm up towards the seat. Then using this side, then bring the carriage in, then same time, thread the needle. Then coming back up, thread the needle. And come up, breathe. Good, let's do three. Up, two, up, last one, squeeze. And coming back up, then you can come down using this core muscle control. Counter stretch. Good, then rotate both hands on the, each, each hand, each shoulder rest, and open your chest. Breathe. Good, let's go to the other side. Same way, stuck your knees, stuck your feet. Still keep your hips as square as possible. Okay. First, just stretch out. Okay. Then coming back, counter stretch, breathe. Then now put your hands on again. Then using the core muscle, you can just lift your hips up and coming down. Because you're coming up using your core muscle, that's why your carriage is moving. You're not pushing out from your shoulder, okay? So keep your shoulder away from your ear. Then two more, up, good. And the last one, lift. Then now we're gonna do a more side of your core muscle and coming up. So I'm gonna come here then. Side, yes. Breathe, so use this side muscle, side abdominal, but still keep your hip bone facing to the forward. Squeeze, tighten your glutes. Good, then you can lift your lips up. Good, and two more, nicely, and one. Good, then you can just using this Abdominal coming back, counter stretch, breathe. Good, then we're gonna add the twist. Okay, come up again. Okay, then reach your other arm up. Then bring your knee towards the hips, then thread the needle. Then coming back up, pull, 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 and twist. And come up, squeeze nice and reach your finger back, 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 and come up, three more. Push your navel up, and good, two more. 
Three twisting. Good. And the last one. Pull, pull, pull. Lift, lift, lift. And coming up. Pushing your navel back. Close the carriage. Counter stretch. Then rotate back. Open your chest. Pull the shoulder rest towards you. Squeeze your back. Lift your chest slightly up. Great. Okay. So to finish, we're gonna come back again, like, a, like at the beginning, into the well, standing, same way, legs are aligned, okay? Then inhale, reach your arms up, keep your shoulders down, and tuck your chin and roll down, as we did at the beginning. Put your hands down, then now lift your heels up. Anchor down your balls of the feet and toes down. Okay, keep your uh, hips over your heels. Then just as you exhale, pull. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull. Inhale, release. Let's do two more. Pull, pull, pull. Inhale, release. Last one, pull. And release. Close the carriage, lower your heels down. Heads down, hands down, and slowly pull your navel up to roll back up. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down. Okay, now bring your both legs, both feet together. Okay, we're gonna do single leg. Inhale, reach your arms up. Keep your shoulders down. Tuck your chin and roll down. And put your hands down on the Shoulder rest. Then now, lift your left leg up, out, okay? Keep your square hips all the time. Then soften your right knee. Exhale, pull. Okay, then inhale, release. Exhale, using the abdominal. Good, two more. Pull, pull, pull. Inhale, and last one, pull. Still try to keep square hips. Then inhale, release. Bring your foot, left foot down. Stay there. Reach your right leg out, back, straighten. Okay, so tighten your core. Then same time, exhale, pull. Inhale, release. Exhale, pull. Inhale, release. Two more. Use your core. Okay, keep your hips square. Pull and release. Put your right foot down, head down. Everything is relaxed into the wall. Breathe. Shh. Good. Then slowly, as you exhale, roll up. Find your spine into this imaginary wall. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lower your hands down. And we are done for today. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this advanced workout. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next exercise video. Thank you. Bye.